Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing well today. So it's time for a lovely TTV shout out. So I want to go ahead and shout out carmarshall.com. They have over 100,000 vehicles, new and used. So if you guys are interested, if you're shopping for a new vehicle, you guys can go on their website, you shop, they do the negotiation. The link to their website will be pinned down below in the comment section. Make sure you guys check them out. All right, so once again, our favorite meme is back, and you guys know what that means. We have another Pissy Pie Piper tale for you guys, okay? So if you guys do not know, it's now been announced that Spotify has removed all of R. Kelly's songs from their site, okay? You can no longer get any R. Kelly songs from Spotify. On top of removing R. Kelly's music, they also got rid of XXX Extension. His music is gone, and so is Tay K, okay? He's a little boy who's sitting in jail or whatever for supposedly killing some people. All his damn fans drugged me a few months ago because I was like, no, do not free Tay K, okay? Tay K needs to sit his ass down somewhere. And I stand by my original video, Tay K fans. So anyways, Spotify has removed all of Tay K's music. So basically, they're saying that they're getting rid of certain people who are being accused currently of serious crimes. So this entire situation is causing a lot of controversy online. And of course, R. Kelly's people they're now speaking out about this situation because a lot of people have been clowning him. So I want you guys to go ahead and watch this quick video and I'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys this statement from R. Kelly's camp. Go ahead and check this out. Oh, you motherfucker. <laughs> okay. All right. I've been making hits for y'all to smash all these bitches. Huh? You think you can do this shit? Hey! You think you can smash these chicks without me? You motherfuckers will be playing Bruno Mars and Justin Timberlake without me. Eric Billinger, nigga. Try to smash the Jeremiah. I got the slow jams in this piece. You'll never have a playlist like mine. Who the fuck you think you fucking with? I got the hits here. The mother R&B niggas just live here. Yeah, you better step in the name of love out of here. I'm a bump and grind this motherfucker down. Trey songs ain't got shit on me. All right, so you guys just saw that crazy meme by All Deaf Digital. So anyways, this is what R. Kelly's peoples had to say about him being removed off of Spotify. So they're saying, we appreciate Spotify for continuing to make R. Kelly's songs accessible to millions of people, although it will stop listing his songs on its official playlist. Spotify is adopting a new hate content, hateful conduct policy. R. Kelly has never been accused of hate, and the lyrics he writes express love and desire. Mr. Kelly, for 30 years, has sung songs about his love and passion for women. He is innocent of the false and hurtful allegations in this ongoing smear campaign against him, waged by enemies seeking a payoff. He has never been convicted of a crime, nor does he have any pending criminal charges against him. Meanwhile, though, Spotify promotes numerous other artists who are convicted felons, others who have been arrested on charges of domestic violence, and artists who sing lyrics that are violent and anti-women in nature. Mr. Kelly falls into none of these categories, and it is unfortunate and short-sighted that Spotify fails to recognize this. Spotify has the right to promote whatever music it chooses to, and in this case, its actions are without merit. It is acting based on false and unproven allegations. It's bowing to social media fads and picking sides in a fame-seeking dispute over matters that has nothing to do with servicing customers. All right, honey, so you guys just heard me read that R. Kelly statement. So, yes, this R. Kelly situation is getting messier and messier, honey. But you know what? I'm here for it, bitch, okay? So my thing is this. While I understand what Spotify is trying to do and while a lot of people are clapping and saying, yes, yes, remove R. Kelly's music. He's a pervert. He's a pedophile. That's fine and dandy, but my thing is, where does this end? Because what they're saying in that statement rings true, okay? This is just me being objective. If you're going to remove R. Kelly's music based on, you know, you know this whole Me Too movement, based on people not feeling him right now, then there's going to be a lot of people that also need to be affected, okay? Let's keep it real. Right now, Fabulous is going to court, even though Emily B's goofy self is by his side at court, okay? for basically, you know, domestic violence, for knocking out her two front teeth, but yet and still his music is still on Spotify. You know what I mean? We have criminals like T.I., you know, who's been convicted of multiple felonies, 
his music is still on Spotify. So my thing is, where does it end? If we're going to cheer them getting rid of R. Kelly's music and Tay K's music and XXX's music, where does it end? So by the logic that Spotify is trying to implement, they're going to need to remove a lot more people's music. I don't disagree with them with taking R. Kelly's music off, but I do feel that he should not be the only one. There's a lot of people out here talking reckless, saying reckless shit. You got the Cash Me Outside girl. Her music is on there. She's a horrible role model. A lot of these young kids be out here just talking about stupid shit, selling drugs, having sex, you know, doing drugs, and their music is still on Spotify. So where does this end? So to me, I'm looking at this from almost a censorship point of view that, you know, right now people can cheer on that because it's R. Kelly or maybe because you don't listen to XXX or Tay K, that's fine. But what happens when these same rules affect people that you do listen to, like a T.I., you know what I'm saying, who has a criminal background or, you know, like a Gucci man who just got out of prison, you know, a few years ago, he has a criminal background, you know, so there's a lot of people in the industry, especially in the hip hop industry with really shady backgrounds. So where does it end? So if we're going to get rid of, you know, these three artists, who else are we going to get rid of? You know, so that's all I'm saying. So before people cheer this on, just realize your favorite artist might just be next. Okay. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning Spotify, not only removing R. Kelly's music, but also XXX and Tay K's music as well. Do you feel like they're setting a new precedent? And do you also feel like, you know what, if they're allowed to remove these three people's music, what's to stop them from getting rid of all hip hop artists or anybody with a criminal record or anybody with allegations pending against them? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.